Um, Thanks, uh, Fred, for uh, co-chairing the session, and um, we're very happy to have uh, a lot of ideas and a lot of uh, input in the discussion on addressing extremes and compound events. And so, from the discussions, the three priority actions that we can um, cite would be um, the first, the importance of having open access data uh, and um, data sharing which can be done through collaboration with national weather agencies and the research communities. And this can be facilitated through workshop-oriented meetings, such as the Cortex Conference and also the Open Science Conference that will be held, held next, next year. And then um, second priority action could be uh, capacity building uh, to improve modeling and also process-based understanding. Um, and this would be a good way um, for collaboration between scientists from developing and developed countries. And finally, a priority action would be improvements in observation networks, including identification of areas where stations are needed and improvements in satellite observations in the long term. Thank you, Faye. Uh, uh, you know, you have identified a very important uh, ideas from the participant. Uh, when it comes to the game changer, uh, we would think that the uh, you know, citizen science, uh, particip participation of citizen in uh, improving the uh, observation uh, network uh, could be a game changer through, through the uh, citizen science, could be a game changer. But of course, a uh, challenge there is to uh, ensure that the quality of those all of data uh, are maintained uh, and useful for the uh, model validation. Uh, 